Have you ever seen this effect and wondered how it's done? Well, me too, and it actually turns out that it's really easy to do. Hi there, my front end friends. Thank you so much for coming to join me for yet another video. And in case you're new here, my name is Kevin and here at my channel, I help you fall madly deeply in love with CSS. And if I can't get you to fall in love with it, I'm hoping to at least help you be a little bit less frustrated by it. And cool effects like this that are super easy to do are I think a really fun way to fall in love a little bit, at least with CSS. And so let's jump into VS Code to see how we're gonna do this. And the main thing is I have this logo that is right here that's sort of on its own and it's kind of important because I'm gonna use position sticky for this, though you could use position fixed for it as well. Uh, and then you can have it basically anywhere. I am doing it with a span with some text, but we're gonna switch that out in a little bit for an actual image as well. And we're gonna see a couple little gotchas that can pop up along with this as we go through and how we can deal with those. Um, as far as the rest of what I have here, there's really not much happening. Uh, we can see I just have a section set up with inverting background colors back and forth, a wrapper slash container, and then my logo that basically, because it's text, I just sort of style it up a little bit, but we're gonna see we can switch that out for an image, like I said. Now, the main thing is we want that logo to stick in place, but I don't want it to always be stuck because at smaller screen sizes, Obviously, like if I'm scrolling here and it was sticking, it would be going over other stuff and that would not look good. So we only want it to stick at larger screen sizes or be position fixed at larger screen sizes. So we can use a good old media query for that. I'm gonna use the new syntax. So we're gonna say width is greater than, and I'm gonna say 980 pixels. Again, this is just for my specific use case here. You could go with whatever you want um, or whatever works well for you. Uh, this new range syntax is, is now supported in all browsers, by the way, um, are all modern browsers, but it's still not perfect. It just got added to Safari, so be careful with it, but it's so much nicer to write. So I'm gonna use that, but you could just use a max width uh, or min width one instead, um, and it would work completely fine. And on here, we're gonna add in a position of sticky. And when we use position sticky, I'm gonna do a top of like one rem, just so it doesn't actually get stuck to the very, very top, or maybe a 0.5. Um, and then now we can see it's it's sitting there like it was, but now when I scroll, it comes with me, which is awesome. But then we run into this issue where it disappears on the darker backgrounds, which is the whole reason that we're, we're going over this is so we can always see the logo or whatever the thing is that you do have stuck there. So how can we fix that? It's incredibly easy. We're gonna use a mix blend mode and we're gonna probably see a problem right away that's gonna pop up. We're gonna be using difference for this, difference. And difference is cool because it shows you where things are different. <laughs> um, and it, look, my logo disappeared, completely gone. Uh, and the reason for that is kind of interesting and we can actually see it up top here for an interesting reason that's gonna get switched out in a second. Um, but for this to work, uh, whoops, I'm going too far. We wanna be here on the logo. And because this is text, that's why I went with text first, I'm gonna do my color of white. And now it's disappeared, but appeared <laughs> there it is and then when i go into here and we get this cool effect going on with it inverting between the two of them and difference won't work with black but other colors it will work with so if you did have a color on your logo um so instead of white say we had like a 250 percent 50 percent or something like that um you'll see it showing up but it's on difference so it's showing us the areas where it's different and it's going to give you inverted colors and do some sort of weird unexpected things and especially if you have actual background colors going on uh it could be really funky what's happening um the reason i think difference at least from what i rem remember from my photoshop days was really useful for if you wanted to overlap two things because if they lined up perfectly, it wouldn't show up. But as soon as there was a little offset, you'd see the difference. And that was sort of what I used it for. And I'm assuming that's really what the purpose of it was. Uh, but in this case, we can do this fun stuff with it and it works there and works there. So the first gotcha is you do want your element to be white. The other thing that's important, and you notice it's disappearing at the top of the screen here. This is a really interesting one and it's because my sections here, so down here is a section Let's just change the background color on this one a little bit. We'll do like a F4, 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 so it shows up. No R is in there. Uh, and you can see the darker color here. And it's not showing up on the pure white, but it is showing up here. And so the reason that's happening is here I've actually declared a color of white at background. Let's, there it is. Uh, but up here, I never declared any color on the body itself. And at that point, it's because it's outside of the section, and um, because we're using position sticky, it's living up there. And it's just like this transparent color that gets to a white 
canvas, basically. Um, so here, if I actually did a background of FFF, it will show up because we have a declared background on it. And now it can actually work because it has a color to blend with um, or do the mix blend mode with. I actually used to think that you couldn't use pure white for this effect. Um, it had to be like a slightly off white and all of a sudden things would work, but it's because I wasn't declaring anything on the background until I declared something that was a slight off white. Uh, so yeah, that's the first little gotcha with that that is important. Make sure you have colors that are declared because if not, it won't show up anywhere because you have white on white and you don't see anything. Now I did say we could also do this with images and it's not really much of a gotcha with the images other than uh, when you have your image, let's just do class of logo on there. I'm going to do my... I have a lorem, I have a logo ipsum, ipsum dot svg that we're going to use. Uh, and let's just come down and turn off my blend mode right there and switch it off. And there we go. We can see it showing up right there. And I have my little logo that's sticking to the top of the screen. But once again, it's disappearing because I don't have the blend mode difference on. And What's important with this is I just chose a black logo <laughs> and that's sort of what we tend to do. So it's the same advice I was just going to give, but you just want to make sure and we can even go. I think I can open this up here. Oh, we're, we're just seeing that I used to have an SVG previewer, but my fill is all set to black on this uh, and it's not actually showing up. What you need to do is actually have a white logo. So like the color here is not doing anything. The font size um, and font weight aren't doing anything anymore. So it's just the image that's in there, but it just means have a white version of your logo, which I've already created. And now if I scroll down, we'll see it showing up here because it's white. Uh, so now if I put my mix blend mode difference back on, it will work and do that cool little inverted thing. And I guess I could actually make this bigger now since it's not just text. Um, and I have my logo that's working. It looks cool. It sort of follows me down and has that fun effect. Uh, and then if I do shrink the screen down, it just turns off my position sticky, but my logo has disappeared because it disappeared because this mix blend mode in this case, I should probably keep it on all the time. <laughs> um, so at smaller screen sizes there, it's working fine, but it just scrolls with my content. So whatever's happening. And then once we get to a larger screen size, the sticky kicks on and then I can actually scroll down and keep it there. So just um, do be aware of that. It's really important because it's re if you have a white logo and you have white going on in your site, obviously it's very easy for it to accidentally disappear along the way. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more CSS quick tips and tricks and things like that, I have a playlist that is right here that I think you would really enjoy. And with that, I would really like to thank my enablers of awesome who are Enrico, Michael, Simon, Tim, and Johnny, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more. Awesome.